I couldn't do it. I mean, it got close a few times, but it just kept falling apart. This was actually my second one. The first one was just five or six inch disc to test the setup and it just went like butter. And so I cut a bigger blank. I wanted to cover the entire form. This is nine and a half inches, 24 centimeters. And I managed to get it about three inches deep, almost eight centimeters. The wooden form, or buck, or I don't know what these things are called. This is 12 inches by four inches deep. I did have a project in mind for this video. There was something I wanted to make with this, had I gotten that far. And the final thing required a hole in the center. So I decided to add that to the setup. I mean, it needs a bigger hole, but the little dowel served two purposes. Partly to help me not lose track of the center, but mostly I was scared. The blank with a hole in it and a dowel pin on center. I don't know, I just figured I had a better shot of it not coming out of the setup and cutting me in two. After the second one, things just started falling apart. I don't think I was doing anything different. This one gave up the ghost right out of the gate. Center came out. I didn't think I was pushing that hard with the tailstock. And then this weird thing started to happen where they started lamp shading. It would go great up to a certain diameter, a certain distance away from the center, and then just out of nowhere, this train wreck happened. I mean, it looks kind of fancy, but not exactly what I was going for. For kicks on one of them, I just kept pushing through this. This was a smaller blank. It did the same thing in the last inch or so. So maybe it isn't a diameter thing, but it had these same crinkles. In fact, I think it was even worse. And I just pushed through it, just rolled the material back into itself. It didn't sound pretty, but material is definitely flowing here. Speaking of which, material is definitely stretching. Like this blank of this size is probably, I don't know, a half inch larger in diameter than what it started off as. I mean, I expected that to happen. I just didn't expect it to be that much. I'm not one to give up, but I'm all out of sheet metal. This stuff actually is, I think it's 18 gauge, it's aluminum. It's got this weird bronze anodized on the inside. Brass maybe, bronze, gold, brown. I didn't have any big enough pieces of thin aluminum on hand, so I drove out to local scrapyard. This is all that they had. I mean, it's the thinnest that they had. They couldn't tell me what material it was, so no surprise there, but they did tell me it was from an appliance manufacturer. That made me think maybe like a 5000 series, which I think they use for deep draw. 5000 series, I mean, not appliance manufacturers. But maybe I just don't have the right stuff. Maybe it's work hardening or doing something weird. They did have some copper. They wanted a lot for it. And that stuff, I'm pretty sure, does work harden pretty easy. I just didn't want to deal with that. At any rate, that was fun. Kind of scary, but fun. Give me some time to find some thinner aluminum, maybe the right grade. We'll try this again and maybe see this project through. Thanks for watching.